Okay, so this time last year, we had the same situation where we can't really talk about the movie. Right. And we found ourselves talking about the Hawkeye conundrum, where mm -hmm. he's gone. We have two movies that we're working on. So we knew that if we pushed certain char characters in the forefront, one movie, we could push other characters in the forefront in the other movie. And everybody just needs to be patient. But there are specific story answered. reasons. You know, yeah. it is all grounded in story. His presence or absence is all based upon in, in the narrative. Set, it's setting up a yeah, super yeah. specific story yeah. for him yeah. that will soon be revealed. And now we've got a whole new thing, right? <laughs> Which is, you know what I'm about to say? You've got, where's Korg? My name is Korg. I'm kind of like the leader in here. People are obsessed with Korg. Mm -hmm. And then it's this whole Thanos mm -hmm. Ant-Man thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, come on. Korg and Thanos. It's what they, uh, and got to get him his tuna melt, man. I wouldn't say no to a tuna melt. They have to talk about something. They can't talk about the movie. We're not giving them anything. Exactly. And so the trailer get Wong the melt. So and look, look what happens when you withhold information. It leads to Thanos. Yes, yes. That's, that's exactly it. And we also talked about last time how you've got to set up all of the different backstories to everyone, but really succinctly. Yes. I hope in Endgame they've let you off the hook on that front. You've seen the previous film, right? Let's just get on with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's a talking raccoon, but not really. I mean, I think at some point, I, I think, I hopefully like somewhere in phase three, that stuff went away, but mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of challenging though, because if you look at it, um, you know, if you just, just going off box office, for instance, mm -hmm. With the, the fact that the box office keeps cl climbing and climbing and climbing, especially what was happened with, with Infinity War, it's like, so that has to tell you, people are watching Infinity War who have never seen a Marvel movie before. Yeah. And so, so that tells you there are some people who have fresh eyes and who don't know that raccoons talk. Yeah. It's a, it's so, a weird place to start watching you know, yeah. Infinity War, but I guess. It's some, Talking Tree, who's yeah. a teenager. Yes. Hey, Guru. Whoa! Oh, wait. Hey. Who used to be a baby. I'm good. That's right. Who used to be an adult. <laughs> I am good. There you go. Simple as that. Yeah. I do have a theory for you guys, though. And I know it makes no sense. But was Spider-Man meant to survive the snap? I don't feel so good. But then he thought, we can't give Tom the endgame script. <laughs> so let's dust him. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir, please. It's not a theory. I wish. <laughs> That's called reality. I wish. Yeah. Yep. Well, I was a fly yeah. on the wall of your yeah. script meeting room. I'm, I'm sure. And it was yeah. like, uh huh. Yeah. It might play well. People could emotionally react to it. You, you've noticed how much better all the actors are in this movie than they were on the last one, Keeping Secrets, right? Yep. The only reason Ruffalo's still alive is because he baked us a cake. <laughs> <laughs> a really big green cake. Yes. Could you agree with me, please? that the arc of Captain America is getting him from saying son of a gun son of a guy to son of a bitch let's go get this son of a bitch to dropping the F-bomb mm -hmm. <laughs> will he flat out <laughs> drop the F-bomb? yeah in, in I mean listen I'll, I'll say this we have certainly at times uh, um, had the F-word in these movies and, and been like come on we get we get two I think for a PG-13 we get two F-bombs mm -hmm. We, you know, we like edge. We like to edge these characters up a little bit. Yeah. Um, uh, but certainly, yeah, Cap went from a patriot to an insurgent. So I think that's a fairly accurate way to describe it. Maybe we could just do a mother f <laughs> Oh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because that's my new favorite word, by the way. Mother. That you introduced me to. We did do that. In the, the last... At the end of Infinity War. Yeah. Mother f That's it. That's the word. I don't know what it means, but <laughs> that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Again, we can't really talk about the film, which must be a very strange thing for you, but can we trust you anymore? Like with the trailers, no. can we? No. Trust is a trust is a relative <laughs> word, isn't it? Really, I mean, can if, we can we trust society? Ah, uh, uh, as filmmakers, if what you're to be respectful, about, yeah. or if what you're talking about is can you trust us mm -hmm. to uh, uh, deliver you an experience in the movie theater that's going to be fresh and surprising and one that you couldn't predict? Yes, you can trust Maybe. us for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if we give information out, can we trust the internet to ruin it? Yes, yes. We can trust, we can trust that one. Yeah. Pardon me wants you to look down the barrel of the camera and go, <laughs> because it'll mm -hmm. be what it'll be. It, it, it is, and we do, uh, we do do that. We do look down the barrel of the cam camera every day and go, <laughs> What are you going to do? Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then do watch these videos or you can listen to my podcast called Radio One Screen Time. Oh, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button.
You can now get more Radio 1 in your life by downloading the BBC Sounds app or the BBC iPlayer app. Search for full-length versions of these interviews by typing in Movies with Ali Plum.